Endangered animals Endangered animals Hi everyone, we're here at Melbourne Zoo to learn all about their endangered animals and find out what we can do to help them. Are you ready Numbat? Are you ready boys and girls? Check this out! Hi everyone, we're here with Kelly, who's the keeper of the tiger, and she's going to talk about this wonderful endangered animal. Hi Kelly. Hi Drange T, how are you? Kelly, what species of tiger do you have here at Melbourne Zoo? Melbourne Zoo, we have the Sumatran tiger, which is the smallest subspecies of tiger, uh, with the males only getting to about 120 kilos. So uh, they are one of the more endangered subspecies of tiger as well. Now the Melbourne Zoo has a breeding program for the Sumatran tiger. Can you tell us a little bit about that, Kelly? Sure. Well, we have uh, our tigers were actually born here at Melbourne Zoo. So there was four born in the last litter that we had. Uh, so two males and two females. Now the breeding program is actually run throughout the whole country and sometimes even includes zoos from other countries around the world. And we'll actually do exchanges with tigers so that we can breed them um, and keep the genetics nice and uh, nice and different, so we're not uh, breeding uh, relationships together. Um, but we'll uh, move those tigers around. So we've already uh, moved on one of our female tigers to another zoo in Australia. And eventually our other three tigers that were born here, they'll go to other zoos as well. Fantastic. Now, we know the tigers, the big cats, are all carnivores. Um, what do your tigers eat here at the zoo, Kelly? Well, of course, as with all carnivores, they do eat meat and meat only, but we give them a range of different food. So they'll get anything from beef uh, to kangaroo, rabbits, uh, chicken, um, sometimes goat and deer, though we don't get that quite as often. Uh, so a nice wide variety of food, so it doesn't get too boring for them. Now, the Sumatran tiger is on the critically endangered list, Kelly. Yes. What can the boys and girls do at home to help protect this magnificent creature? Well, one of the, the biggest threats to the tiger is that uh, is habitat loss. So in a lot of areas, uh, their forests that they live in are being chopped down so that they can build, uh, have room to build a palm oil plantation. So palm oil are a big palm that they grow and they harvest the oil from that and they use that in pretty much everything. So they use it in different foods, uh, cosmetics, cleaning products um, and so the more that people use it the more they uh, cut more forests they cut down to grow more trees so uh, the best thing that you can do to help is to look at the labels of these products and look for sustainable palm oil that means that they're growing the palm oil without cutting more forests down so check the labels make sure that you're using products that are sustainable uh, and that'll be a big big help for these species well, thank you, Kelly, for talking to us today about this week's endangered animal, the Sumatran tiger. No worries. Thank you. Thank you, Numbat. <laughs> wow, what a fantastic time we've had learning all about the Sumatran tiger. Thank you, Kelly, for talking to us about this wonderful endangered animal. You're welcome. Wow, what a fantastic time we've had at Melbourne Zoo. We'd like to thank the staff and the keepers at the zoo for making it all possible and we'd also like to help all the wonderful endangered animals who took part. Alright, we'll see you next time on Endangered Animals. Check this out.